Hello everyone, and uh, it's JJ here. Um, I'm here with another BNMG uh, tutorial. So today I'm gonna uh, do a little bit about um, the world editor. Um, and with this video, I'm just gonna focus on kind of the objects and how you can manipulate them. Um, there's much, much more that you can do with the world editor, but I'm not gonna handle that for this video. So um, if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with this car, or this map um, I do have the names of the the mods in the description below um, I'm sure for though for many if you're viewing this video you might have an idea of where what this is so um, yeah so this is the concrete map which comes with the fairgrounds um, and as you can see um, with this video and many many previous videos it's quite a bit different from what it originally came with so um, and the way I did this was by using the world editor, deleting um, many, many buildings, moving different objects, um, as well as, you know, cut, copy, paste, and the sort to get it to be look the way that I have it set up. So in order to get to the world editor, um, you've got to push the button on your keyboard, the F11. Um, for some keyboards, you might have to do the FN and then the plus the... F11, so it just kind of depends on what your setup is. But to hit that F11, F11 button to get to this, um, this will open up the user interface, which is the world editor. Um, and many couple things to note is on this side here. This is everything which is inside the world editor, or I'll be calling it the map, um, just because that's what I'm used to. So this has all the objects within the map, all the all the decorators, everything there. So. Um, and then right here um, is a little bit easier way of changing things. So you have the position of the object that you're working with, the rotation. And then there's also a scale. Um, let me click on the cement barriers. Yeah, so here is a scale. All you have to do is just type in a number, type in 90. And that did not do what I wanted to do. I typed in 90 and now that's at a 90 degree angle rather than the 0 degree or 180 degree angle that was at previously. So, now there are a few shortcuts that are nice to know um, rather than having to go to this edit drop down. Yeah. Um, and that just makes it so much easier rather than just going to ed edit and clicking the, the button there. So, anyways. Um, moving on, um, now when you first open this up, if you've never done any sort of editing, you're going to have all these buildings all throughout the map. Um, and so what I did is I deleted all those. So, but to delete them, you know, there's these options that are here. You know, there's the select, the move, there's a rotate and scale, which also right here as well. But for this, we just need the select. So select the whatever building you want to delete and either there's a trash can here that you can use to delete or simply push and delete on the keyboard and it is deleted and there you see I have made a couple walls in the background so uh, I need to make those a little bit better because those won't look very good but anyways that just shows simply how to be able to delete buttons or delete objects within the map so um, and these can also be scaled or you know rotated um, so to scale, there is this button here, and then you have these nodes that show up here. So with this one, this red one here, this can either make it wider or narrower, or the blue one, you can make it taller or shorter. And then the green one, I don't really mess with that because it skews it in one direction or the other. So I never, I never use that one just because it makes it look very... Um, and then there's the rotate which is here and then so these ones here so the green one will bring it kind of one way or the other and then the blue will turn it left or right and then the red one here kind of twist it to be upside down or whichever way you want to turn it <laughs> so 
and then like I said, same thing as well. You know, the rotation you can all do within the um, text boxes here as well. So if you know exactly what you want it to be at, then you can simply use that. Um, and then that really about sums up everything you need to know. And then I guess a way to move. Um, selection here so kind of the same thing with this red arrow you can do right left this blue arrow here um, moves the grid more than it moves the map so I'm not going to mess around with that um, and then the green one I'm trying to think what that does I've never used the green one with this one either so I don't know what that means but yeah really the blue and the red are the only arrows that I use so and that really sums up about the editor and kind of how to change the map, how to delete things, how to move things, and kind of get everything set to be the way you want it. As you can see, I also did a little bit of work with the the barricades as well. Um, get the I closed the gaps and also the corners put it as 45 degree angles rather than those 90 that it originally came with. So um, I haven't derbied on this track yet, so that's going to be next to come but uh, that's it for this video um, if you got any questions definitely let me know I am here to help as best as I can so leave a comment and I will do the best I can to get back as soon as I can and as helpful as I can so now like I said need any help just let me know um, and then one last thing before I leave um, thank you thank you for all the people that have joined this channel uh, subscribe to the channel I uh, recently hit 100 subscribers um, and I continue to see that number grow so that's just awesome uh, thank you guys so much for for watching and supporting and uh, hopefully you like this video and I definitely have more to come so thank you so much and I will see you all next time